A bicyclist who doesn't obey traffic laws? A. Is in the right because bicyclists don't have to obey traffic laws. B. Can be ticketed. C. Will always receive a warning from law enforcement. D. Will have their bicycle impounded. B. Can be ticketed. All bicyclists have the same rights, duties, and responsibilities as drivers of motor vehicles. Motorists and bicyclists who do not obey traffic laws can be ticketed. If you are stopped by law enforcement while driving at night, you should A. Place your vehicle in neutral. B. Exit the vehicle. C. Turn on your dome light. D. Turn off your headlights. C. Turn on your dome light. If you are stopped by a police officer while you are driving, you should safely pull to the right side of the road, if possible, or to a well-lit area. Park your vehicle, turn off the engine, and turn on the hazard lights. If you have been pulled over at night, be sure to turn on the dome light inside of your car. If a pedestrian hybrid beacon signal light is a steady red, it means A. Drivers may proceed with caution. B. Drivers should slow down and prepare to stop. C. Drivers should come to a complete stop. D. There are no pedestrians nearby. C. Drivers should come to a complete stop. Pedestrian hybrid beacons are used at pedestrian crossings. If the signal turns a steady red, drivers should come to a complete stop. Which qualities are negatively affected by alcohol consumption? A. Judgment. B. Ability to reason. C. Vision. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Alcohol reduces all of the important skills needed to drive safely, such as judgment, reaction time, vision, ability to reason, and concentration. Alcohol absorbs into the lining of the stomach, passes directly into the bloodstream, and reaches your brain within minutes of consumption. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. A slow moving vehicle emblem is A. A rectangular red sign. B. A circular green sign. C. A diamond shaped yellow sign. D. A triangular orange sign. D. A triangular orange sign. The slow moving vehicle symbol is a reflective orange triangle. Expect vehicles using this emblem to be driving at speeds of 25 miles per hour or slower. Defensive drivers should A. Always keep their eyes moving. B. Look for developing trouble spots. C. Have plans of action. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Defensive driving is using safe driving strategies to prevent crashes. Defensive drivers should constantly be aware of their surroundings, be alert to trouble, and have plans of action prepared in case problems arise. When driving past a vehicle that has just stopped in a parked position on the side of the road, you should a. Assume that the driver will open the car door as you approach. B. Speed up. C. Slam on your brakes. D. Assume that the driver will wait for you to pass before opening the door. A. Assume that the driver will open the car door as you approach. When passing a vehicle that has just parked parallel to the road, you should assume the driver will open the door as you approach. 
Use extra caution when driving near parked vehicles. Which is the most common cause of traffic crashes? A. New drivers. B. Human error. C. Bad weather. D. Bad roads. B. Human error. Crashes often occur when one driver does not see another vehicle or when a driver does something unexpected. Communicate with other drivers on the road to help prevent traffic crashes. You should signal to turn fill in the blank before beginning the turn. A. 100 feet. B. 50 feet. C. 20 feet. D. 10 feet. A. 100 feet. When you wish to change lanes or make a turn, signal with arm signals or mechanical turn signals to inform other motorists of your intention. Signals should be activated at least 100 feet before you make a turn. If you are using mechanical signals, continue signaling until you have completed the turn or lane change. When approaching a railroad crossing warning sign. A. Be ready to drive faster than the train. B. Be prepared to stop if a train is nearby. C. Look for a way around any lowered gates. D. Assume no trains are nearby and continue driving normally. B. Be prepared to stop if a train is nearby. Railroad crossing warning signs are used to warn drivers of the possibility of a train. Drivers should obey all railroad crossing warning signs and never go around barriers or disregard the warning sign. A leaking exhaust system can A. Cause excessive oil use. B. Require your vehicle to have a tune-up sooner than normal. C. Make you drowsy while driving. D. Set grass fires on country roads. C. Make you drowsy while driving. The exhaust system helps remove toxic gases, reduce the noise, and cool the hot gases coming from a running engine. Fumes from a leaky exhaust system can cause death in a very short time. They can also make you drowsy while driving. Consuming which of the following substances may impair your ability to drive safely and may result in an arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicants DUII. A. Beer, wine, and other liquor. B. Controlled substances, such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. C. Inhalants, such as glue or paint. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. A wide variety of intoxicants can impair your ability to drive. These include all types of alcoholic beverages, illegal drugs, inhalants, and many legal medications, both prescription and over-the-counter. Leaving the scene of an accident involving injury or death will result in A. Only imprisonment. B. Only a fine. C. Imprisonment and a fine. D. No negative consequences. C. Imprisonment and a fine. If you are operating a motor vehicle involved in a crash resulting in injury to or death of a person, you must immediately stop your vehicle at the scene of the crash without obstructing traffic more than necessary. If you did not stop your vehicle at the scene, you must immediately return and remain at the scene of the crash. When driving at 60 miles per hour, a driver's field of vision is a. two-thirds of what it is when the vehicle is stationary. b. one-fifth of what it is when the vehicle is stationary. c. three-fifths of what it is when the vehicle is stationary. d. 
four-fifths of what it is when the vehicle is stationary. B. One-fifth of what it is when the vehicle is stationary. As your speed increases, your field of vision decreases. When driving 60 miles per hour, your field of vision is reduced to one-fifth of what your field of vision is when your vehicle is stationary. This sign means A. One-way traffic. B. Divided highway ends. C. Two-way traffic. D. Keep left. B. Divided highway ends. Warning signs are usually diamond-shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign indicates that the divided highway is about to end. To properly use a roundabout, drivers should a. Stop within the roundabout. b. Yield to entering traffic. c. Drive in a clockwise direction. d. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. d. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. A roundabout is a circular intersection that flows in a counterclockwise direction around a central island and usually does not include a traffic signal. Motorists must enter from the right, yielding to traffic already in the roundabout, and follow the circle to the right until the desired roadway is reached. Lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions are divided by fill in the blank lines a white b red c black d yellow d yellow yellow lines are used to divide traffic moving in opposite directions certain highway signs contain information about hazardous conditions such signs are known as a. Regulatory signs. B. Warning signs. C. Information signs. D. Guide signs. B. Warning signs. Warning signs advise drivers of potentially hazardous conditions. For your own safety, obey warning signs. Disregarding the information provided by a warning sign may result in an accident due to your negligence. If you are driving near a motorcycle, you must a. Allow the motorcycle to use a complete lane. b. Drive on the shoulder beside the motorcycle. c. Allow the motorcycle to use only half of a lane. d. Pass using the same lane as the motorcycle. a. Allow the motorcycle to use a complete lane. A motorcycle is a full-size vehicle with the same privileges as any other vehicle on the roadway. You should allow a motorcyclist a full lane width. Although it may seem as though there is enough room in the traffic lane for a larger vehicle and a motorcycle, remember that the motorcycle needs room to maneuver safely. This sign means a. Slow down if an emergency vehicle is approaching. B. Look both ways as you cross the intersection. C. Always come to a full stop at the intersection. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Decrease your speed as you approach an intersection with a yield sign. Prepare to stop and yield the right of way to vehicles and pedestrians in the intersection or crossroad. You must come to a full stop at a yield sign if traffic conditions require it. Drivers who eat and drink while driving. A. Make no driving errors. B. Have trouble driving slowly. C. Are better drivers because they are not hungry. D. Have trouble controlling their vehicles.
D. Have trouble controlling their vehicles. Choosing to eat, drink, or smoke while driving is dangerous because these actions require a driver to remove their hands from the wheel and their eyes from the road. Drivers who engage in distracting activities while driving have trouble staying in their lanes and controlling their vehicles. When turning left, drivers must yield the right of way to a. Other drivers who are already in the intersection. B. Oncoming traffic. C. Pedestrians who are already in the intersection. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. When turning left, drivers must yield the right of way to oncoming traffic. Drivers must also always yield the right of way to pedestrians, bicyclists, and other drivers who are already in the intersection. What does a lane control signal with a steady yellow X above a reversible lane indicate? A. The signal is about to change to a red X. B. The signal is about to change to a green arrow. C. Drivers may drive normally in this lane. D. Drivers may drive slowly in this lane. A. The signal is about to change to a red X. Lane control signals are used when the direction of the flow of traffic in a specific lane changes throughout the day. They are used to show which lanes of traffic are open and closed, as well as to show if toll booths are open or closed. When a lane control signal contains a steady yellow X, drivers should clear the indicated lane because the signal is about to change to a red X. When parking, be sure that your vehicle can be seen for at least fill in the blank in each direction. A. 100 feet. B. 50 feet. C. 200 feet. D. 20 feet. C. 200 feet. When parking, be sure your vehicle can be seen for at least 200 feet in all directions. Only park where your vehicle will not impede traffic moving in either direction. A diamond-shaped sign? A. Warns of existing or possible hazards. B. Alerts drivers to school zones. C. Alerts drivers to public recreation areas. D. Alerts drivers to upcoming food and gas locations. A. Warns of existing or possible hazards. Diamond-shaped signs warn drivers of existing or potential driving hazards. You will usually see these signs in yellow or orange. Drinking coffee after drinking alcohol. A. Decreases blood alcohol concentration. B. Cancels the effect of the alcohol. C. Has no effect on blood alcohol concentration. D. Increases blood alcohol concentration. C. Has no effect on blood alcohol concentration. Drinking coffee will not reduce your blood alcohol concentration, BAC. While it may help you to stay awake, it cannot change your BAC or make you sober. This sign means A. Continue at your current speed. B. You must stop ahead. C. Speeding is not allowed. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. This sign indicates that there is a traffic signal ahead. You must yield for emergency vehicles? A. Under no circumstances. B. When you see a flashing red or blue light or hear a siren. C. Only when other vehicles yield. D. None of the above. B. When you see a flashing red or blue light or hear a siren.
You must yield the right of way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren or flashing lights. You want to turn left at an intersection. The light is green but oncoming traffic is heavy. You should A. Use the next intersection. B. Wait at the crosswalk for traffic to clear. C. Wait in the center of the intersection for traffic to clear. D. Take the right of way since you have a green light. C. Wait in the center of the intersection for traffic to clear. When making a left turn where there is approaching traffic, you must wait for the approaching traffic to go through before you turn. You may enter the intersection to prepare for your left turn if the light is green and no other vehicle ahead of you plans to make a left turn. Your blind spot is the area of the road. A. You cannot see without moving your head. B. Directly behind your vehicle. C. You see in your rear view mirror. D. You see in your side mirror. A. You cannot see without moving your head. Blind spots are areas that a driver cannot see without moving their head. They can be located to the sides of and behind a vehicle.